we'd love to win a derby, you know. Um, I've, I've still got plans. Hopefully we can get that dog that can go across the water as well and compete in some of their major prizes. There's, there's still a lot of things we haven't achieved here, you know. You just need the right dogs at the right time sometimes, you know, and um, hopefully one day we'll, Imperial Kennels can, can have a derby winner. Ready or not, here I come. Kind of ready. Interesting runner. Mark Wallace, I think, is in for a cracking year. His greyhounds uh, should be watched. Heading down the far side then, the lead here with Birchfield Hero by four and a half lengths over Kinda Ready, trying to move up on the outside of Blonde Lucy. They reach the third bend. Birchfield Hero with a two length lead now. Four Kinda Ready is staying on quite nicely as they come up the home straight. It's Birchfield Hero taken on by Kinda Ready. Kinda Ready getting up. Ready or not. Oh. When he came up that second bend, I knew he was in with a shout, you know, because he, he's coming home strong as well. Kinda Ready trained by Mark Wallace, a son of kind of sleepy, a self, a very good open race performer. They head down the far side, it's the Elaine Parkers, Droopy's Conquest with a two-length lead, but kind of ready, showing lots of pace down the far side, only a length between them, but checks there as they come around the final bend. Droopy's Conquest, kind of ready's just find a, find a gap at the moment, staying on late, it's Bryn on the inside, going on kind of ready, kind of ready sprints away and wins impressively. There they go, racing up towards the first bend and kind of ready, out fast, edging in towards the rails. Bandicoot to Pokey, rode the bump well and is able to lead at the first bend. There's problems at the back there for Bush Paddy, who took a bump. Heading down the far side, Bandicoot to Pokey, suddenly shot two and a half lengths clear, kind of ready off in chase. After these comes Freedom Emma, then we've got a break back to Magna Ventura as they come around the second last bend and Bandicoot to Pokey, the four to five favourite, setting sail for home here, has a two length lead still. Kind of ready, those clawing its way back into the race. Bandicoot to Pokey will hold on though. Still with a lead though, making ground is Wise Opinion in second. Now only two and a half lengths down, far no reason. They will do enough as they go to the charge from Wise Opinion in second and qualifying in third was kind of ready. And they're racing and away they come, quite a level start. Slick Ace just getting away now though. Leads by a length from Droopis Quint on his inside kind of ready. is pushing up and then Koulibaly Dart in the black. They go down the far side, Slick Ace leads the way by a couple of lengths now. Kind of ready, he's in a good pitch and now he's accelerating. He's coming after the leader. Droopis Quint in third, then comes Koulibaly Dart. Kind of ready, goes on, gets away by about a length. Droopis Quint now up into second place. They're down the straight, kind of ready, going right away. Kind of ready wins. We're very pleased with him tonight, you know, with him ahead for the next round. And if we get a decent try, you know, I can't see why he can't do very well in this competition. If he comes up that second bend and he gets a handy position, he's, he's as good as anything, in my opinion. They go to the final turn. Wise Thought takes the length out of Windy Miller, who tries to fight back into the straight. Wise Thought in front from Windy Miller. Wise Thought has beaten Windy Miller. He gains his revenge. Kind of ready, was back in third. They cut round the final bend and this bubbly maestro with the upper hand. Camera Boss runs up into second, scrapping on for the third qualifying spot at the moment. Bubbly Maestro will win. Back in second was Camera Boss, and it's Kinda Ready who sneaked into third. 480 metres, there they go and racing away, and a good start from four. Love Mac leads up early. Glenard Sunrise, though, picks it up and goes on. Track three, Kinda Ready's pushed itself into second place. Heading down the far side, it's Glenard Sunrise. Leading from Kinda Ready, after these comes Farlow Reason. They're breaking away from Camera Bros. Then comes six, Bubbly Maestro. They come round the final bend, and it's still Glenard Sunrise with the advantage here. Three, Kinda Ready, and two, Farlow Reason. Then comes Camera Boss. It's going to be trap one that wins. Glenard Sunrise wins the race. Kinda Ready was second. Are you ready, ready, London? 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 Are you ready? Are you ready, ready, London? Are you ready, ready, London? I stated originally that it was the best chance I ever had of getting to a derby final since I took over the training from Linda and uh, thankfully uh, I've been proved right, you know. I'm more nervous about coming up the London Eye today than I am of, uh, of, of waiting for the derby final. My knuckles are getting a bit white on here, I tell you. Talent alone won't make you a success. Neither will being in the right place at the right time. Unless you are ready. The most important question is, are you ready? Y'all ready for this?